Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Please return to the safe area. Oh! My hands are wrong. Wait, is this my safe area? Extend your arms in a T-pose and hold the, tri hold the triggers on both controllers to calibrate your arm length. Current setting, 1.78 meters. Okay, first things first. I gotta change some things around. Give me a sec. I need to switch. I need to move my camera off to the side so that the light of one of my controllers does not conflict with, does not, you know, disappear and conflict with the image of my window in the background because it's off to the side this is the new batman game nice oh what the chat is actually working okay let me just switch this off to the side i got the thing talking now so from what i hear this is an ongoing bug okay i still need to rotate need to rotate my camera off a little bit come on okay standing in front of my TV a little bit okay hands up palm forward. actually you know what I might need to have it on screen so I can see because <laughs> So chat's working, so I can see what you guys are saying. So uh, apparently this is an ongoing bug whenever you stream to YouTube itself. But hey, Jacob. But it's been good, Jacob. It's been very good. I just had a stream yesterday thinking about like, hey, I don't like this Gorn. I was playing Gorn yesterday. And... Uh, I was saying how much I hate the movement system, and I really hope Iron Man VR, which comes out next month, does, no does nothing in terms of how the movement is set up. And lo and behold, Marvel decides to drop the demo for Iron Man VR today. I, it literally just dropped like a couple of minutes ago, and I've been spending this time downloading it, and I got it up right now. So, so we've already calibrated. We're good. Saw Gorn do an all might moment. It was hilarious. <laughs> Since this is your first time playing, a short tutorial will help you get comfortable in VR. I'm okay with that. It was the Nomu fight. Oh my goodness, the Nomu fight for uh, my hero is so good. Hold on, hold on. I gotta take care of something real quick. All right, I return. Have I played the Darth Vader VR? I have not, but I heard that it's actually getting released in a uh, PlayStation VR because it was only like for like the Oculus Rift and like PC VR sets, but now they're going to be releasing it for PlayStation pretty soon. So I'm kind of looking forward to that as well. I mean, taking <sighs> interacting with Darth Vader, that's not something I'm ready for. He was scary in Fallen Order. I am not prepared to see him up close and personal in my face. That is a new level of fear. So, all right, stay in the center of the cleared play area. So you already designate this no matter how much I rotate my camera. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. What is this? Stay in the center of the clear play area, do not walk around, and be aware of your surroundings. You can recalibrate the play area positioning by holding the start button to recenter. Okay. Ha! Now I can move this in a much more preferable spot. Just need to turn my camera a little bit so that it doesn't interfere. And let me just see what you just said. 
ordered burgers arriving in a little while. Ooh, burgers sound nice right about now. They sound like really nice. Okay, so I'm good? Alright. Warning grid will appear if you move too far from the center of the play area. Show it to me! Okay, so this is our safe zone. This... Look at how big this area is! By the way, all the heroes going to die in this... Uh... My Hero Academia arc. Still too soon to say? We don't know yet. But I do know there... Uh... I do know one thing. There's gonna be so much destruction. Like I said this before on my last live stream I had for My Hero Academia. Uh, if there's anyone watching right now and you're not caught up on My Hero Academia, I suggest you, you kind of don't listen to this point because I'm going to be talking about spoilers. But I kind of talked about how all these victories that the heroes were going to have, the villains were always come back with a major upset. Like like I said, there was mo there's so many moments and so many examples. Like uh, uh, the villains try to attack... Uh, tried to get ba Bakugo back and they find out where the League of Villains is staying and in turn All For One shows up and pretty much owns everyone except for All Might. Well, yeah, he actually kind of just pretty much pretty much contends with All Might and causes All Might to use up all of his remaining power thus bringing end to the era of the symbol of peace. And now we have the heroes Finding the place where the right-hand man of all for one, who has been researching quirks and taking quirks and helping create, pretty much create the Nomu, the heroes have captured him, and now Shigaraki, who we've now learned, has been given all for one's original quirk, and all this time, all for one has been using a duplicate, possibly weaker version of his quirk. Shigaraki's about to wake up now. So yeah. Things are about to, and not only that, in the most recent chapter, uh, Geten, or Geten, whatever you say her name, the Ice Cork user, uh, the ridiculously strong Ice Cork user, she's made her appearance, and Gigantomachia has stood up because he smells the scent of his master. These two overwhelming forces are now starting to push back against the heroes, because in one panel, Geten uses her Ice Cork ability to pretty much launch Mount Lady out of the way to the point where she gets knocked back from the knocked back into the forest, and she's pretty much covered the massive hole that uh, Cementos created with his quirk and covered up the mansion in the in the forest again so now the villains now have a a little bit more of a powerhouse on their side but yeah there's going to be so much destruction you guys and i can't wait to see how it all turns out uh what did you say giganta i forget his name is worried about his master it's going to go down yeah gigantomachia literally the hulk juggernaut of villains all right so we're still centered we're still centered Oh, there's my arc reactor. All right, when the warning grid appears, looking down to f look down to find the orange circle and return to it. All right, we're going to make sure that we don't leave it. Okay, I'm, I'm centered. I'm good. Marvel's Iron Man VR. And also, the perks about playing this demo is it unlocks a, a skin. A molten lava skin for when the original game comes out next month. Uh, Marvel's Iron Man VR is played in 360 degree open environments. To turn around, press the turn button on... Okay, so... Okay, you guys know how much I like. Okay, so that's 360. Guide arrows are... Okay, you guys know how much I hate snap turning i need to uh, get access to a smooth turning because that's the only thing that i will accept guide arrows will periodically point you towards the playstation camera make sure you are facing the camera and look up at the indicator to proceed okay so the whole movie about nine giant cannon Nine, uh, I have not seen that in My Hero Academia movies. Actually, I haven't seen any of them, even though I own one of them right now. So I haven't seen, uh, any of them because I need, I need to watch those. Be aware of the VR headset cable. If you turn completely around, this icon will appear. 
Uh, make sure the VR headset cable is not wrapped around you and turn back around if necessary. Complete VR tutorial. Give me the option to edit settings. Jarvis, I need a VR check. We need to make sure we're all good. What if MAJ? What's going on? Welcome to the Iron Man VR demo. I'm going to hold my face here so that way sometime in the future I'm going to make a screenshot of this. I'm going to hold it here. Okay, options. Language, VR preference, turn, speed, snap, fast, medium, slow, fast. Turn angle, turn input, tap, hold. Good. This isn't PC? No, this is on PlayStation. This is on PlayStation right now. Should probably update the title. Yeah. I should probably update the title on that so people don't get confused. Hold on, give me a sec. Gotta correct that. But, good to see everyone here. If you're new here for the first time, welcome! P.S. VR. Alright, it should be updated now. Alright. All right, Jarvis, put me back in the area I was before. Thank you, Jarvis. Okay, impact. I don't want any of these because they make tunnel vision go on your eyes, and I kind of don't like that. All right, that's fine. And this demo is 16 gigs, possibly one of the biggest demos I have ever had to download in quite a while. I think the biggest one I had beforehand demo wise was final fantasy uh remake weapon range get aggressive your repulsors are more accurate at close range uh malibu usa tony stark retires from weapons making from weapons making to become the armored superhero known as iron man at home in malibu he tests his first modern armors flight and weapon systems so yeah we can fly <laughs> so uh and we gotta wait for it to load up and we're going to be testing out how to fly. I've been hearing so many things about how flying works. So I'm anxious to see how that's going to be implemented when we play. So, Jarvis, if you'd be so kind. The radar is at the top left of your heads-up display. Use it to locate nearby enemies. All right, so how's it going to look? Let's see. I'm prepared. Will you be able to stream Cyberpunk if you choose to... Uh, I do want to stream Cyberpunk. I really do. But given how si CG... Am I breathing? Oh, snap! Oh, my goodness! The heads-up display! Oh, the heads-up display! To begin, hold your arms out flat. Out of the play area. Okay, hold on. Okay, Mark three test plan. Starting with maneuvering thrusters. Hands by my sides. Palms back. All right. Oh. <laughs> good. Feels good. All right. Time to open her up. Hold on. I got to get used to this. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we gotta actually be Iron Man. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, sorry Jarvis. I'm gonna take my time and perfect this. Okay, so we're supposed to go over there, and my camera's not picking. My camera's not picking me up, so I gotta reset my position real quick. Hold on.
Dang it, I gotta be back even further. I gotta be back even further. I need it to see me all the way over here. Because I want to have full range of movement. But I do intend to play Cyberpunk. But given how CG Project Red said they are not pulling any punches, I don't know just how much I'm going to show. Due to it being like pretty much, it is going to have, from what I've been hearing, there's going to be so much in that game that is not YouTuber monetization friendly. And <laughs> needless to say, I kind of want to make sure that I at least still be able to, you know, put videos up on my channel. So at some point, I'm going to look in. I, I will be putting some cyberpunk videos on there, but I don't know about a full playthrough. Hopefully there's a way that I can do it and just censor certain things, but uh, that's definitely on the table. Cyberpunk will be on this channel. That is an absolute promise. Okay, so since we're Iron Man... Let's go ahead and get a let's get accustomed to uh, what we got. So this controls. We literally have to be Iron Man right now. through the titles like we're actually in an Iron Man movie. Oh, this might be a better shot than what I tried to do beforehand. Whoa! Okay, we're going to learn how to fly today. We're going to learn how to fly today. Opening targeting suite. Propulsors ready. Okay, I got a feel for it. Oh, that's how you do it. Bullseye. Be aware of the VR headset cable. If you turn completely around, that this icon will appear. Make sure the VR headset cable is not wrapped around you and turn back around if necessary. Okay. I have a lot of problems. I'm serious. You in this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it to bed. Where are you anyway? Look out the window. Oh, hi, handsome. Looks like you made some upgrades. Three more targets to go. Okay, I got the feel of this. I like this. I really hope chat has not gone off. So I can still see what you guys are saying. Two more targets left. And you get to upgrade your weapons and everything. Yeah. One more. I work better with an audience. Start flight test. Okay. You thread the needle. Oh. Oh, I need I need to perfect that. Oh, 
Oh, we definitely need to do that. Yeah! Woo! Whoop! Man, when you think about it, he has to literally adjust himself every time he flies. I'm just a newbie in an Iron Man suit. Tony's been doing this sort of thing for years, so when you see him doing all this crazy stuff, he's trained for it. Let's start with boost. Boost? Hands by your side, palms back. <laughs> that was okay, that's boost. If I swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply quarter inch magnetic articulation thrusters, I can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5%. Okay. Should I be writing this down? No need. I've got a mind like a steel. Ow, truck. ow, ow. Oh, yeah? When's my birthday? Uh, sorry, Cutfer, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. No, that one's within the normal range. For me, anyway. Okay, I'm getting turned around. Whoa. Warm up the jets. I want to punch something. Hold the melee button on either hand. Fist rockets engaged. Time to throw a punch. Just like Happy Hogan talking. Ooh, thread the needle! Nice. Bullseye. Beautiful. Time to punch out. Sorry. Well done, Tony. That could have been did so much better. Needed, they did it in 38 seconds? Hmm. I can improve my time. Oh yeah. Great aim. I'm getting the hang of this, folks. Great shot. Nice. Did you get what you needed? How did or they beat this in with 20 less seconds? Have you guys been saying? Oh, great. Okay, so chat has completely gone off. And it's no longer saying anything to me. Great. The HUD looks mint. I wish I had a VR now. I already have a PS4. 
Have my burger, so might not talk sorry. And ice cream man coming through with goat milk options this time. Hey, Cool K, what's going on? Got an email from work last night, and I'm going to be honest. Unfortunately, cinemas might be opening earlier than we thought. Okay. So, sorry if I'm not seeing your comments, everyone. VR chat was working, and now it no longer is. So, you know, that's fun. Okay, so that's, that's when it's telling me that I'm out of range. All right. Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds great. Meet me back here when you're ready. All right, can I get a preview of how to upgrade abilities? Maybe? Please? It'd be nice. All right, Stark Jet, 20,000 feet, five years after donning the mask of Iron Man, Tony flies home aboard Stark Force One, his private jet. Impulse armor. Tony obsessively up... Okay, I guess I can't read that. I'll probably read it during a uh, review. Stark Force One, Tony's private jet is a 737 refitted for comfort and universal hologram materialization, specifically Friday. Okay, cool. So are we watching the cinematic or years later? Strange. Oh, I can look. I can pick up stuff. I need a new iPad, please. Oh, wait, this is Stark Tech. I need a new one. Give me one now. Oh, so is this how we suit up? All right, diagnostics look good. Friday? Morning, sir. May I get you something? Friday. You seem pepper. I believe she's putting out a fire. Literal or figurative? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had Did not she just give me back my pad? His decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Star Hi, Industries. Pepper. Or don't you watch the news? I should. I'm gonna. Okay, I like Friday. Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right. Tony! But here's the thing I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk, and you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was gonna ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them, that's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world. And I want you to get that message out there. Apologies if Don't anyone is saying anything right now. I cannot see chat. No. <laughs> not the Joe! Not Friday. the cup of Joe! I taught you how to fly. Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over. Remotely. What is that? It's that a doesn't look good. Drone. A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Hello, Stark. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. All right, it's time to suit up. Tony, look. That's not good. Incoming. Time to die. Great. Another person trying to kill me. Tony. 
Ah, my briefcase! No! 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 Me precious! Your airline just lost my luggage! Then file a complaint when we land! Override my safety belt! Pepper, I- I know! Just come back in one piece! No promises! I suck at this! Oh snap! I better be falling after that briefcase, because if it automatically puts me back in it. Where's my Where's my briefcase? Where's my briefcase? I'm free falling without a parachute, please! Whoa. Woo! Those drums are headed toward Pepper! I see them, sir! Friday, I'm feeling a bit naked here! Hang on, sir! Right gauntlet inbound! This should come in handy. Debris, shoot it! Left gauntlet inbound! More debris, sir! Chest piece coming in on your left! Drones inbound! Friday, where's my head at? In the clouds as usual, sir! The ground's getting awfully close. Heads up! Let's go! <laughs> I'm liking this so far. Okay. So that was a cutscene. You're in the cutscene. So uh, needless to say, once I get this game, I'm going to be throwing iPads everywhere. All systems online. Just in time. I got a plane to catch. You cannot run your past, Star. We'll see about that. Pepper, can you hear me? A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Chapter one, out of the blue. Alright, let's get back Sir, to we the have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. There's an engine fire that needs your attention. <laughs> A secondary Whoa. explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. Come on, come on. Fire suppression system online. That's one less burning issue to deal with. Good job, sir. Yo, I'm actually flying over this thing! Sir, the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot! Pepper? No! Stay put! It's too dangerous! Says the guy who jumped out of the plane! Any more from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. Protect the jet. Both. Hey! Help me. It's a good thing my shields can recharge. Pepper! Friday, what's going on in there? Scanning for Miss Potts. You should upgrade your firewall. Our new friend's messing with my HUD. They've also locked me out of the jet's diagnostics. I have no read on Miss Potts. Oh, that's not good for plummeting! Enemies inbound. Let's see if I can snipe him. Pepper! Pepper, come in! No, no, you don't. Dang, how does Tony do this? Pepper! You okay? 
okay in there? Get out of here. Tony, I have control of the jet. Keep the good news coming. Sir, more hostiles en route. Friday, what did I just say? Still, ow, ow. System aren't Pepper, how's the jet? No longer on a collision course with Los Angeles. City Council will be pleased to know that. Hold still. Don't you move. Hey, get away from that plane! Good thing you guys are dumb enough to actually aim for me. And you know what? I am so comfortable with this heads-up display. Uh, guys! I can't steer! Sir, the aileron on the left side has been damaged. Is that fixable? We'll have to wing it. That looks... We actually gotta do all this stuff, too. I've located an airstrip for emergency landing. Thanks, Friday. Pepper, you think you can land this bird? Only one way to find out! Lowering the landing gear! Let me guess, we gotta break the landing gear out? I knew it. The landing gear doors are malfunctioning. Of course they are. Make a wish. It's all yours, Pepper. Gear is down. Three green. Well done, both of you. If no one has any further objections, I say we call it. Whoa, boy. Mess with my hood. Sir, I'm detecting a new energy signature. More enemies? Good. Trigger fingers getting itchy. Sidestep their attack, sir. Get out of here. Neutralized, but I'm sensing our hacker friend has returned. Um, um, no controls. Friday, help. All systems are down. Oh no, that's not good. The big one's back. My controls are locked. I can't do anything. Help, Pepper. Pepper, get me over there now. It's vanished from radar. I can see that. Get me back online. Systems restored. Tony, nothing's responding here. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost cause. Pepper, find an exit. Oh, I am so focused on getting over there right now. your feet a compartment it leads to the nose landing gear found it climbing down now i'll meet you under the jet
Oh, I'm steering at everything. I like this. Ow, 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 ow. for co-op action? Suit up next month. Wait. No, wait. Not next month. July. July 3rd. Not June 3rd. July. My bad. All right. Proceed. Is that the whole demo? I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was actually really fun. Play flight course, play combat challenge. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it is apparent to me that Iron Man VR is going to be fun. I love the controls. Everything looks good. The whole interaction, the whole, the whole shebang. Like overall, the, the, the controls are very responsive. They're a lot more responsive than Gorn. Now, mind you, Gorn is its own set little game, but being able to feel like Iron Man, it really, really it really really sets the stage for just how fun this game is going to be now mind you this isn't my review of the game as a whole because this is just a demo there's more to this game such as new suits you can have being able to upgrade your abilities and your suits and weapons and whatever there's a lot to this game that i know for a fact that i'm probably going to enjoy and seeing as how there aren't too many Marvel games being released this year, you know, Marvel's Avengers is coming out this year as well, but we still haven't seen anything of that game. So this is probably going to tie me over until we actually see something. Hopefully, as fun as this demo was, the game is even more so and has lots of replayability because that's what I look for in games. I, re I look for like a considerable amount of length to be invested in this and a considerable amount of content to you know after the story is over so a lot to keep me coming back and a reason to come back to this game after the story is over so I look forward to what this game is going to offer now the thing that I'm thinking of is if this game is successful like really successful then we could potentially see I don't know, maybe other iterations of Marvel heroes in VR. I feel it would be very cool. I would like a Hulk game, just a game where I'm just destroying stuff and being Hulk. I would very much like that. Probably would get motion sickness from, you know, jumping five miles in a single bound, but I would love to do that. Maybe a potential Spider-Man VR game. There's lots of superhero games the lots of superheroes that I think would kind of translate well to VR. Maybe even Spider-Man or Venom. There's just a lot to go through here. But if Iron Man VR does very well and people want more of it, I really hope Marvel works towards bringing more Marvel heroes to VR. I know there was like this Marvel Heroes game in VR for PC. What is it? Marvel Heroes United or whatever that lets you play as other different people. Uh, in like a uh, combat scenario type deal, but it's never been released on the PlayStation, so hopefully we get to see that or something like that. But overall, these are my impressions. The demo, very fun. If you have a PSVR, then I highly suggest that you give this a try. The controls feel good. Of course, for me, I'm going to have to probably perfect it a little bit more during the flight course and the combat course for me to do a lot better. But overall, this demo is a pretty good representation of what we could expect from the full game as a whole. Uh, so that's all I got to say. L let me see what you guys have been saying while I've been playing this real quick. So let me check you guys out. Okay. Okay, let's see. Just played it. It's amazing. Can't wait for the full game. This is the best VR game I have ever played. Okay, so I got to say, I have to agree with you. This is the best VR demo that I've ever played. So overall, this is, this is very fun. 
like as much as I like Gorn, you know, punching people in the face and watching their heads just explode, this makes you feel like Iron Man. This is not a paid endorsement because, well, I don't get sponsored, at least not yet. But uh, this is very fun. If you have a PSVR, I highly suggest that you try it. But this is also where I'm going to end my first impressions for this demo for today. I hadn't even expected to do any more VR streaming today because today's my day off. And then I was going to wait until tomorrow to, you know, play some Maneater, a new shark game that's dropping tomorrow as well. But lo and behold, Marvel decided to grace us with its presence and give us a little preview. So this was fun. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow when we start playing Maneater. So I really look forward to, you know, seeing you guys again as we do streams. I'm just messing with the digi particles here which i really like i like i like how that's i like how that is it's very fun i like that but that's all i got for you guys for today so i really hope you enjoyed sure i may not have been as good at the controls at the beginning but i feel like i could get better uh as time goes on so with that being said Hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples. I am Iron Man.